With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So here we have a question from Thermodynamics. An ideal gas with adiabatic exponent gamma is heated at constant pressure. It absorbs Q amount of heat. Fraction of heat absorbed in increasing the temperature is. So what we have been given? We have been given that we have Q and we know that it is a constant pressure process. So it will be nothing but Ncp delta T. This will be the value of heat involved in the reaction. Now one thing we know from first law. Q is equals to delta U plus W. So the heat we apply, some amount of it is used to change its temperature. That is change its internal energy. And some amount of it is being used to perform some external work that is work done. So here we have been given, we have to find out the fraction absorbed in increasing the temperature. So basically what we have to find out, we have to find out the fraction F that will be equals to delta U by Q that is amount of heat that changes the internal energy or basically changes the temperature of the system divided by the amount of heat that we have given. So this fraction F comes out to be equals to delta U we know it is in CV delta T and we know that for the given process that is constant pressure process Q is equals to NCP delta T so cancelling delta T delta T what we get is that our fraction comes out to be equals to CV by CP now we know that this can be written as 1 by CP upon CV and CP upon CV is a very famous quantity and it is known as gamma that is the adiabatic heat exponent so the given fraction f comes out to be equals to 1 by gamma so the fraction of energy that is being passed on to the internal energy is equals to 1 by gamma that is our option b so our option b is the right answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today